Now the point in issue is this, that Places of Worship Act is read in isolation by everyone in this country. Section 4, sub clause 2 of the Places of Worship Act uses a word religious character. That what is the religious character of the property in question on 15th August 1947 will remain the same. For example, if, if I want to explain my conversation by an example, that if I enter a mosque and I put a idol there, it, the religious character of a mosque will not change. And vice versa, if someone enters into a temple and offers namaz, the religious character of the temple will not change. And to counter the, uh, uh, so far, uh, so far, to counter the point of place of the worship act, I have two more points to make if you permit me. Yes, yes, please go on. Go on. Yes, I have, uh, see, so far as uh, the Kashi Vishnath case is concerned, in 1983, the UP government has passed a special legislation declaring the entire property, de declaring the disputed structure as the Jyotir Link and declaring that entire property west in the Jyotir Link. Section 4 of the uh, Kashi Vishnath Act of 1983. So that happened prior to 1991. Apart from that, Dean Mohammed's case, civil suit number 62 of 1936. That time no political party was, a, was in existence. The British government gave an affidavit before the Honorable Court in Dean Mahmoud's case saying that this property does not have the religious character of a mosque. It is not above. Dean Mahmoud went in appeal before the Allahabad High, High Court and in 1942 their appeal was rejected. And third point, 1997 6 SCC page 606. The three judge bench judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court para 1 specifically notes that how this temple was demolished by the invaders. So the question is this Rahul, that if a temple is demolished, if a temple is demolished, it can never have a religious character of a mosque. As per Islamic law and as per if Hindu laws. If a temple laws. is demolished, it can't have the religious characteristics of a mosque. Atikur Rahman wants to make a quick counter. Atik. Rahul, uh, uh, Mr. Jain is going into the wordings of the 1991. What is the philosophy of the 1991 Places of Worship Act? The philosophy is the people of India are no more to go into all these ambiguities of the legalities of the, of the dharma and religion and Islam and mazhab. We live, we want to live in peace. And that is why apart from Ayodhya and Ram Temple, this was made. The philosophy of the Parliamentary Act suggests that no more grudges between the two major communities of India. Am I wrong, Rahul? 